In this clip, I'll demonstrate how you can add two fractions. In this case, they're both unit fractions, but they're of unlike denominators. So different from when we compare two fractions, like for example, one fourth and one third, and you had been asked which one is greater, this time I'm adding the two fractions. So when you add fractions using the fraction strips, you need to line the bars up side by side so that they're in a complete, so they form a complete line. And then uh, you need to try to figure out which of these other pieces that are up in your kit will fit into both the one-thirds piece and the one-fourth piece. So essentially what you do and what your students may do is do a trial and error and they'll say, well, look at that. So two-sixths fit are the same as one-third. Then they realize, well, I can't actually fit the six into the one fourth. So I can't use six to solve my problem. So then they try to use other pieces and come up with one that fits into both the pieces, both the one third and the one fourth. And with some trial and error, they will eventually come to the realization that twelves fit into both pieces. So there's three twelves are the same as one fourth and four twelves are the same as one third. This actually is a display of or representation of what we, what we call common denominator. Remember that dreaded term? But in essence a common denominator is just the piece that fits into both of the fraction pieces you're trying to add together. In this case, it's 12th. So our common denominator in this case is 12th. I don't need to do any multiplication of top and number by a particular value. I just simply look at the pieces of the puzzle and see that by logic, 12ths fit into the fourth and 12ths also fit into the thirds. So one fourth plus one third is the same as three twelfths and four more twelfths, which is seven twelfths. So without doing any fancy common denominator multiplication, I can see graphically that one fourth and one third is the same as seven twelfths.